Welcome to the University of New South Wales Electron Microscope Unit, a part of the Mark Wainwright Analytical Center. In this video, we describe our basic requirements and expectations for all users of our Preparation Lab B61. We also outline the control measures in place to minimize the risk to those using the lab and in the immediate area. All users must complete the laboratory induction and obtain approval from the EMU prior to entering without staff supervision. Anyone not already inducted into the lab, such as potential users or visitors, must only enter the lab if accompanied by EMU staff. Preparation Lab B61 is located in the basement of the Chemical Sciences Building F10, adjacent to the EMU's main reception area, offices, and instrument rooms. Access to the main lab door is via the foyer outside the EMU reception area. Users can also access the lab from the door at the rear of the lab that connects with the inner corridor of the EMU. Entering the lab. Access is provided to an individual's UNSW identity card, which must be tapped on the sensor at either door in order to enter the lab. Access to Lab B61 is limited to the EMU's regular business hours of 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday, excluding weekends and public holidays, so EMU staff can be on hand to provide support and assistance while the lab is in use. If the gas panel in the foyer outside Lab B61 displays a flashing red light with or without an audible alarm, the lab may be unsafe to enter. Do not enter the lab until informed by EMU staff that it is safe to do so. Anyone entering the lab for any period of time must wear impact-resistant safety glasses or goggles and enclosed impermeable footwear. Footwear must be resistant to the penetration of liquids and sharps and must cover the top, sides, and back of the feet. For users who do not have their own safety eyewear, safety eyewear of different fits and types is provided at either entrance to the lab. If additional PPE is required for a certain task, EMU staff will advise during training. In the lab, a physical copy of the risk management form, entering and working in EMU Laboratory B61, is located in the cupboard near the main entrance to the lab. The form is kept in a brightly colored, clearly labeled binder. No food or drink may be consumed in the lab. Food or drink sealed in closed containers may be kept inside your bag while in the EMU. While you are using the lab, bags and coats may be left in the designated area by the windows. University Protocol HS735 prohibits the use of audio or media devices with earphones in any workplace where chemicals are stored or used, such as this lab. Therefore, no earphones or earbuds may be used while in Lab B61. Users must consult with a staff member before attempting to use equipment or perform a task for the first time. Staff will take users through the appropriate risk management forms and safe work procedures for any equipment or tasks required. Compressed gas cylinders pose potential physical injury and asphyxiation hazards. All cylinders are appropriately restrained to protect users from physical injury and accidental release of contents. Staff do not move or replace cylinders when users are in the immediate area, and all cylinder regulators are checked for leaks on installation. UNSW's HS649 oxygen calculator has been used to verify that the volume of argon gas present in B61 is safe. A carbon dioxide sensor will trigger an alarm if elevated levels of this gas are detected. Loss of lab ventilation supply air will trigger the gas panel alarm. In case of emergency. In any emergency, your first priority is to make sure you are safe. The university's emergency response procedures poster is displayed in the lab near the main entrance door. An internal telephone is located in the northwest corner of the lab, which can be used to contact security in case of an emergency. To dial emergency, call 56666. To identify the designated first aid officer, ask any member of EMU staff. The office of the current first aid officer is clearly labeled on the emergency floor plan posted on the EMU safety notice board. To summon staff assistance in an emergency, Press any of the red manual activation alarm buttons located near both doors. Please note, these red buttons are for alarm activation. They are not exit buttons. To exit the lab, simply turn the door handle and pull or push the door open. In case of accidental contact with a hazardous substance, a sensor-activated sink, a safety shower, and an eye wash station are located near the main door of Lab B61. To activate the safety shower, pull the handle firmly down. To stop the shower, push the handle fully up. 
To activate the eyewash station, pull the handles away from the wall. To turn the eyewash station off, push the handles back against the wall. A fire blanket and ABE powder fire extinguishers are located near the main door of Lab B61. Users are not expected to use these items. The extinguisher or blanket should not be used by anyone unless that individual has been trained in their use, the fire is very small, and the individual has a safe exit behind them. Hazardous substances. Some hazardous substances are stored and used in B61. These include flammables, toxics, and radioactive substances. To reduce the risk of unwanted chemical reactions, exposure, and environmental contamination, all chemicals and waste are appropriately labeled and segregated according to classification and are stored and used in the smallest volumes and concentrations possible. The sub-licensable stock of radioactive chemicals is kept in a locked storage cabinet. Access to diluted stocks is only provided by staff to trained users. All work with hazardous substances must be performed in a fume cupboard with the sash positioned as low as possible while wearing appropriate protective gloves. Blue nitrile gloves are provided in a range of sizes on either side of the fume cupboards. These must be used when handling any hazardous substances in the fume cupboard. If using acetone, latex gloves must be used over the blue nitrile gloves. Gloves used to handle hazardous substances must be removed and disposed of when moving away from the fume cupboard and before touching any other item or surface. When not handling hazardous substances, clear vinyl gloves are provided and should be used throughout the lab to reduce contamination to samples, such as fingerprints. The blue gloves protect you from hazardous substances. The clear gloves protect your samples from you. Waste, spills, and breakages. Uncontaminated domestic waste, such as paper towels used to dry hands, may be disposed of in the domestic waste bins. All gloves, regardless of how they have been used, must be disposed of in the dedicated yellow contaminated waste bins in the lab. Do not dispose of any gloves in the domestic waste bins. All chemical waste must be disposed of in its dedicated, specifically labeled container. If you are unsure how to dispose of something, consult EMU staff. Small disposable items such as paper towels and pipettes that may still contain any residual volatile hazardous substance must be placed in the small contaminated waste bins located inside the fume cupboards. There are small sharp spins provided for the disposal of items such as silicon wafer fragments, glass slides, small glass fragments, and scalpel or razor blades. In the event of a chemical spill, general and acid spill kits are provided near the main entrance to the lab. Broken or cracked glassware must be disposed of in the white bucket labeled contaminated glass. Let staff know so we can ensure the area is cleaned safely and replace any broken items if needed. Specimens. Specimens prepared for examination in the EMU should be stored in an appropriate container with a secure closure. Specimens remain the user's responsibility and may not be left in the EMU indefinitely or for long-term storage. Any specimens left unattended in Lab B61 must be clearly labeled with the owner's full name, contact details, and date to be collected. Staff regularly check specimens left in the EMU and may dispose of any that are not appropriately labeled with these details. Thank you for your attention and your cooperation.